What's up guys, Aaron here from the Partridge Capital. You guys are funny. Um, yeah, so my makeup's done. Aaron here, interested in I at this. What's up, Nevada Tucker? Or did I invest in another stock? One sec, we'll take a look in two seconds. I just wanna pull up a little bit of music. Happy long weekend for all you Canadians tuning in that the stock market's closed, but we still got the U.S. market open. Hope you guys had a good weekend. We did our tour. It was good on Friday. Video is almost ready. So that should be interesting. Let me just post a link to this in the Discord group. Give me one second. And we'll have some music for you guys in two seconds. Kind of feel like I'm getting a little bit sick, but how's it going, guys? All right, so far. Um, give me one sec. Oh yeah, don't forget to hit that like button. All right. So, Discord. <laughs> There's a picture of us at the James E. Wagner place. If you guys didn't see already, where is it? It's all this nonsense in the group here. There's us with uh, Nathan, James E. Wagner CEO, and our crew. That's kind of a funny picture. <clears throat> so, let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, this is a good article. We'll read that. We'll see what the markets are up to. I just want to play some music now. Let's go with some chill beats. And we'll pull up comments here on the phone. Give me one second. All right. What's up, Four Seasons? JWCA pissed me off. Aaron, do you think, what do you think? I think that it's a great looking facility. They've got a lot to build out. They've only built out about 55,000 square feet of their 350,000 square feet, and they could also expand to over 400,000. <clears> but more than their facility, their technology sounds pretty cool too. Their growth storm technology. So it was a great tour. I actually want to take a look at the stock today to see what's up with it. And then, uh, yeah, so here we go, guys. We don't have many Canadian stocks. We don't have any Canadian stocks trading today because I'm just going to turn the volume up on this. Markets are closer in Canada. These might be some new beats. Smash that like button. <laughs> Neurosis, thank you, sir. Yep, it's a holiday here in Canada. It's called May 2-4 weekend. <coughs> Which I don't understand. But Oh yeah, Victoria Day. Whoops. National Cheese Day. That sounds like a great day. Alright, so we're seeing MedMen in the green. Grow Generation Canada Grow CLS Holdings. We will get all the... Um, all the large cap, all the large cap cannabis stocks, we will get to take a look at those acreage holdings and NBEVs down. We can see what all the US companies are trading for. I'll pull those up in a second. Maybe this is our time to make <coughs> a US port, a US MJ portfolio. Therefore, we can see what all the US stocks, like Aurora. ACB, ACB is down 2%, CGC, Ianthus, TRST, no, that's Trustco, damn, CTST, what else we got here? 
APHA. All the all the large caps are in the are in the uh, <coughs> are in the red so far. Cron, TLRY. We can also see James E. Wagner. I mean, James E. Wagner is on the OTC, but I guess that's not trading today. And I don't think Namaste either. Looks like, okay, so some OTC listed stocks are just delayed. But it doesn't look like James E. Wagner is trading at all. No, it is trading. Sorry, guys. One second. Here. I'm confused here. Maybe just super low volume. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I'm going to add all those to the list. Give me one sec. I just closed the window. Then we're going to look at <clears throat> a few articles. Commodities week ahead of Rand Sound to worry for oil. Gold seeks new perch. I do think there's opportunities in gold for the week. So that's something to look at. Okay, so here. Sorry, guys. We'll get back into that portfolio that we were just putting together. And then we'll take a look at all those. Um... What's up, Jordan? Good morning. Made it. Made a G bar in 10 minutes. Time to buy more ends. Okay. Here we go. Back to USMJ. What else you guys want me to add to this portfolio as I'm putting it together right now? Someone said Ianthus Capital Holdings. Ianthus Capital Holdings. All right, so ARSC. Is that a cannabis stock though? ARSC. <clears throat> ARSC, is that a cannabis stock or no? Oops. Hmm. Yeah, we'll add acreage holdings. Oh yeah, so Medmen, we'll add Medmen. I wish High Tide. High Tide is trading on the OTC. Good enough for now. Australis, AUSA, and uh, Rivers. Can it be Rivers? Zenerba. What are they going to buy? SP. R W F Supreme Cannabis, thank you, thank you. N C N N F Good job, good job. Holy holy crap. Thanks for pointing out 48 North Cannabis. I know they got their license on Friday, so the stock is absolutely on fire. It's nice to see that kind of market response. Shout out to Tom the Trader. Oh. That's what I meant to do. Ceneva. This will work very well on holidays, guys, so that when we get a holiday like this in the future, I can just pull up our US listed companies and still see all of the stocks that are trading. So thanks for bearing with me. Are you going to buy Cloud9 once it goes public? Didn't have any plans to. 
not really looking at too too many IPOs all right so we need some hard beats in there new beats coming up boy you trash don't worry we'll see tilt there we go if you guys have any other stocks that you feel like should be in here now's the time as this portfolio was just put together <clears throat> VFF Village Farms Great, so Let's first take a look at James E. Wagner And we'll take a look at Aurora Cannabis Afria and Cantrust I want to look at some of the large caps today because there is a little bit of there is a little bit of rebalancing that I want to do within my portfolio. How was the tour? Great question. So let's. Uh, I did post two pictures, two pictures from the tour. Give me one sec. I'll show you some funny pics, and then uh, yeah, very happy with the company. So here's. Two funny pics. It's us in the room, us with the CEO, Nathan, great guy. And it's on my Instagram too. You guys can see some more funny pics. Good video coming out. I'm more excited for the video. There's us in the facility where um, they still have to build. They've got so much room to build. And there's me in one of the grow rooms. So, Did you take home samples? No, man, I wish I did. That would have been, that would have been nice. But they have some really awesome strains that they're, that they're growing there. Looks like they're going to have a really awesome product lineup. <clears throat> that was James E. Wagner Cultivation. So we're looking at it right now. James E. Wagner Cultivation, $56 million market cap US. Let's take a look at the charts real quick here. Shouldn't Vitamin Shop be on the list? If you have a ticker you want me to add to the American Cannabis Company watch list, USMJ, then feel free to request it. I just put it together today. So James E. Wagner Cultivation. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm getting a little bit of a cough here if I keep coughing. My bad. Gonna have to take care of this soon. So the stock has pulled back. Recently off its highs of around a dollar US down to 61 cents. I'm not really familiar with the US prices, but we're just going to read the chart. <clears throat> and you know, it's looking like it's going to have some support somewhere in the mid to high 50s. Personally, I'm looking to pick some of this up just as it's seen a nice little pullback. And I want to support our local economy. Next time you visit them, tell them they need to get Love Life Haze, some of the best. Well, we, we are planning to go back, so... Because they're... They literally just got their license about... About four weeks ago now. It was on April 29th. Yeah, it's literally four weeks from today. And they've already built out 55,000 square feet, but they've got another 350,000 square feet to go. So, lots more to go, but um, very, very interesting company. The whole tour is going to be on my channel soon, though. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be pretty cool. Have you been following Kara? It's one of the long. It's one of my longtime holds. Kara. We can take a look at that. But yeah, long story short, I like the pullback in James E. Wagner. Interesting company. I think they've got a bright future. 
And the video will be on the channel once uh, it goes through their compliance department. The video has to be double checked. So, are you talking care therapeutics? What's up, Doug? Good morning. Happy long weekend, even though it's not really the long weekend for Americans. But you're not. All right, sweet. Care Therapeutics, $735 million market cap. I've looked at this before, I can't remember what they do. Biotech. Commercializing chemical entities alleviate pain by focusing on kappa opiate receptors. Oh, that's true, you guys get, get it next weekend. That makes sense. Sweet, man, tell me a little bit more about this company then. What do they do in the weed space? Charts look pretty good right now. It's at least stable. Look at BIOC. So we'll add this one to the watch list just because it's American. But I'm not too, I'm not a, an expert. Well, I'm not really an expert on anything, but I'm not an expert on biotech especially. So, Planet 13, we can add that to the watch list too. Thank you. Let's keep growing this watch list. Planet 13 is up 5.3%. Using cannabis over opiates for pain. I'm up 35%. I'm a big, I'm all for that. That's a very interesting, that's a very uh, interesting business model. Actually, you know what? The company that I was just talking about, James E. Wagner, we, uh, part, of, part of their CEO's story was he was getting migraines extreme migraines and they prescribed him oxycotton which is an opiate terrible pain management drug it's very addictive and he found an alternative way to fix his migraines through cannabis which inspired him to start his company which i think is amazing because <clears throat> he definitely believes in the product he believes in cannabis to cure his migraines and yeah, that's an awesome story for James E. Wagner. So that's, a, that's another thing I really liked about it. But if that's what Care Therapeutics does, I think that's a great business model. But obviously, there's many more things you got to look into. So Halo Labs. I got no AC right now. It's hot as F. Yep, opiates. Crazy stuff. Patent, a patent on hydro grow. Yes, yeah, so they're uh, they they're into aeroponics, hydroponics, and uh, they they've licensed the one technology that they're gonna sell throughout the world. So being more than a, being more than a just straight grower, they're also a tech company, which is pretty cool. Actually, we can go to their website just for a second. Um, James C. Wagner. Let's see. I haven't been on their website for a little bit of a while. For a little while. Growth Storm. So this is their. Uh, it's called their Growth Storm technology. Dual droplet system. They need to show like their. Uh, they need a, what's it called, explanation about what exactly it is. Collaborating with respectful driven organizations is our key to success. Growth, storm technology, dual droplet system.
So let's see what they've got here. What they need is us to make a, them a video that explains it all, which we kind of did. Anyways, they have something called the growth storm technology that they're going to sell throughout the world. So that's pretty cool too. Anyways, moving on. Is Crop Infrastructure Corp considered a US MJ company as all of their assets are considered to be in the US crop? That is very true. I'm not 100% sure on crop. They're not. Are they listed in the US? Because I don't think you're allowed to be. What's up, Max? <clears throat> Max is in the building. C A N F. Let's take a look at Dougie's pick. But yeah, sorry guys, to talk about Planet 13, just simply by looking at the charts around a buck 80, I'd watch for, see if it holds on to that support and go from there. It's seen a substantial pullback since it touched fresh 52 week highs and I am not really looking at Planet 13 right now, although the pullback is uh, enticing because I think it would make a bounce. No way. Holy crap. Yeah, I was wondering, Max, where the heck were you? Why you weren't messaging me? Sorry, man. Um, send me a message on Instagram or something if you get them, if you get it, or Discord. I miss your FSD messages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cool. Message me in Discord. Anyways, we're taking a look at Dougie's stock. C A N F. Still not topping 48 North today, but it's up 39.2%. I hear you. I hear you. All right, we'll just take a quick, quick look. You know I'm not much on biotech, but glad that your stock's having a good day, Doug. Up 39%. I love how even investing.com has this section, marijuana stocks with the little fire thingy. What do they follow? Let's see what they follow. Pretty long list. Zenerba, Westleaf, <coughs> excuse me, TerraTech. Why is Trustco Bank in there? Scott's Miracle Grow, Medicine Man Tech, Kush Bottles, GW Pharma. Tons of US companies though. I follow my wife. Good one. So anyways, guys, a few more companies. Just want to take a look at the large caps real quick here. ACB, down 2.25% after having a bunch of green days since its quarter, although on Friday we did decline a little bit. So back down to 850. Like I said, I'm neutral on ACB. Unless we see some big, big sell-off, there's not really much I'm going to be doing when it comes to ACB, although I would like to pick up some more. Ready to take the... Afria. Continues to sell off. I'm actually considering getting back into Afria. But right now, <clears throat> there's nothing in terms of at least 
technic at least in terms of the technicals that's showing any support right now. I feel like if Freya could fall a little bit further. I'd love to see if Freya fall fall. Now we're talking USD to 550. That would be nice. Definitely look at a free a little bit closer. Can trust at 580. Can trust is always one I've wanted to pick up. Can trust in Hexo, but I feel like it could fall a little bit more. Let's hope this can get into the low fives. Then for me, it'll be super attractive. Afria does look very tempting. To be honest, man, I don't know what the heck's going to happen with ACB. I think it's going to kind of trade sideways. Not much happened after their quarter, and the next thing it's going to move on is news or the markets. The markets, personally, I think the markets are going to drive it one way or another. So, <laughs> ACP scam. All right, so a few articles real quick. Let's see here. Commodities week ahead, Iran sounds a worry for oil gold seeks. New perch, as expected, Saudi Arabia and the UAE aren't ready to concede a barrel of oil beyond market needs so that crude prices will not come under under undue pressure. Yet what might help the market more than two countries resolve at Sunday's OPEC meeting in Jeddah is to know the next planned action of their enemy, Iran. <clears throat> Let's see if they've got anything on gold. I care more about gold. Where's gold? Come on. Gold, give, gold finding new perch after giving up $1,300 level, which I kind of talked about in our last VIP Trader Pro report. The trade war is also sending gold in all directions as investors try to decide whether the yellow metal or the US dollar will be more worthy hedge to the protracted battle now running more than a year long and threatening to be a major drag in global growth. Blah, blah, blah. Monday's session in Asia won't wasn't any greater for gold with spot gold reflective hovering just above 1277. Gold's in a unique position over the US China trade war. Positive development on that means bullion could benefit from more jewelry and other bullion related consumption in China, while a negative outcome could bolster gold's standing as a safe haven hedge. So I'm bullish on gold, you guys know this. Trump's a peacemaker. It's interesting. Okay, so let's see if we've got anything else. We do have a couple copper stocks trading today. So Freeport's in the red, not by much. And US Utility Co's, all in the green for the most part, except for National Grid. We are seeing some gold, some gold, some green in the gold space. And these are all Canadian stocks for the most part. Activision Blizzard down 5%, EA down 3%. Alibaba and Tencent and JD.com, all those Chinese stocks. Declining tech stocks. Not doing too good. Teach me how to... Dougie <laughs> called this weekend. She's steady green. Let's look at high tide. We're going to head out soon, guys, but feel free to drop some more requests if you guys got some requests. High tide down 27 US. Yeah, High Tide has lost the majority of its gains that it recently saw, which is kind of annoying. We had a really nice pop to 35 cents US. And now we're back down. Yeah, I just got some random playlist going, guys. <laughs> Next. Come on. This is a joke. Uh, 
I don't know, Max. <laughs> What's up here, Anaka? Let's see what else we got here for you guys. Okay, so. A few more things. A few more things that I'm going to head out. But there was one other thing that I wanted to quickly talk about, which was 48 North. 48 North was up 40% at the open, but now we're down. Or now we're up 23%. So let's look at the one day chart. As we know, 48 North got their license. So that's what the, why the stock's going up like crazy. <clears throat> Damn, look at that. 48 North was up to a buck 20 US. And it's selling off the majority of those gains. So I wouldn't say people are wrong for taking their profits. And that's kind of unfortunate that the <laughs> that's super unfortunate that the holiday is today because that doesn't allow any of the Canadian shareholders of this company to take their profits. Oh man. I mean, it's not a big deal if you're in it for the long run, but you guys can clearly see that they've capitalized on this move. Body and mine raises 14 million. Top 33 revenue generating cannabis stocks. As of May 17th, 48 North gains Health Canada license for outdoor cannabis cultivation. That's what we're looking at. Organogram to commence trading on the NASDAQ May 21st, which is tomorrow. Can you tell me about a stock called a stock? Kelia. OG is not on the list. Not yet. So guys, two more articles. 48 North gains Health Canada license for outdoor cannabis cultivation. Approved to open one of the world's largest licensed outdoor cannabis operations. Poised to produce over 40,000 kgs of outdoor grown organic cannabis this year at what is expected to be the lowest cost per gram in Canada. Receiving the outdoor cultivation license from Health Canada for our good farm is an absolute game changer for 48 North and the cannabis industry. Overnight, the company expands its annual expected capacity from 5,000 to 45,000. Deliver on our promise high quality, low cost organic cannabis for the next generation of cannabis products and dried flower market. 40 North is now better poised than ever to deliver on its commitment to deliver high quality cannabis products to the Canadian and international cannabis markets. 40 North knows the consumer packaged goods brands looking to get into cannabis space need a low cost, consistent and organic cannabis inputs. 40 North's Good Farm without question fulfills the need would you be able to get some info about Tesla? I understand it's not your thinks. Um, I don't have too much info about Tesla, but I can look at Tesla. So Organogram goes on the NASDAQ tomorrow. Celebrate this significant <coughs> company milestone. We are proud to have assembled a world-class team and facility that continues to deliver value to our shareholders. The listing will help us continue to demonstrate our commitment to dynamic growth. Cool. So, good news for Organogram. Kelly Service Inc. USA. I'll take a quick look at that for you. Hey bro, what do you think of Namaste Technologies? John Smithen. It's hard to say, man, right now. Namaste needs to come out with their financials. They need to give us more news about the company. <laughs> I still hold my Namaste. But other than that, <laughs> there's there's not much to be said about them. In a year, Organogram can produce cannabinoids in a lab without the ability to crush the medical side of the industry. And yeah, Namaste is a risky one right now, but could come back. They just need to put out more info. 
workforce solutions provider engaged in offering a range of specialty services. The America's Office Contact Center Education Marketing Electronic Assembly. So they're a business services sec in the business services sector. Workforce Solutions Provider. I've never seen this company before, but they're a big company, almost a billion dollars. Wow, that makes sense. Kelly Services A Incorporated. I mean, the chart looks all right. At 24 bucks, what's their dividend? It's not really in a sector that I invest into, but they pay a 1.2% dividend. That's all right. I mean, I'm, I don't know too much about this sector, but. Like I said, the chart looks all right. <laughs> it's off of its 52 week highs. There's not too much more I have to say. If I'm investing in something other than cannabis, I want a high dividend and, or I want it to be defensive. That's just my take. Thank you. Coming straight from inside of the company, but didn't hear it from me. <laughs> Our music ended because the internet died on the other computer. That's awesome. Here we go. Vision gate getting taking out this week. Vision gate. What's up, Max? Vision state. Vision state. Sure, no problem, Jane. That's just my opinion, though. Could be a great company. I just don't know enough about it to offer you a real great opinion. But I'm just saying what I like. Vision state. Okay. Still can't find it. This is a reading on FSC for five minutes. What do you think about GCAN? The Greater Cannabis Company. Five million dollar market cap. Oof, this one's tiny. Merging Growth Company seeks to focus on cannabis related investments and development opportunities through direct retail sales investments in private and or public entities. I'd have to do more research on it. Do they have news out that's moving it though? Partners with Systemax, CEO to be interviewed. Better cannabis stock, Aurora OT God. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, Sproutly. I see something about Sproutly. Solving problems with beverages. We'll take a look at the charts. Honestly, don't know enough about this company once again, but... Oh, I've seen this before. Not a bad looking chart, though. Yeah. At 17 cents, this thing looks pretty good. Just from a technical perspective, I'd have to do more research about the company. Just by looking at this chart though, it's moved up twice, done a bit of consolidating. Looks like it's ready to pull. Looks like it's ready to take off again, but once again, that's just from taking a quick look at the charts. $4.50 
48 north of 29%. Tilt's up 9% today. Tilt's finally making a bounce. All right, so this is the last, last, last thing I'm looking at. I just want to see that article on Sproutly. And then we're done. Thank you for the likes, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button on the way out. But we're not leaving just yet. I want to look at that article from uh, Sam the Audio. Thank you. Cannabis infusions open new opportunities for beverage makers. Consumers indicate tea as most likely beverage they would consume with cannabis. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Cannabis infused tea. In terms of modern society, historians commonly will point to three industrial revolutions that have greatly advanced society. The steam engine, the age of science and mass production, and the integration of digital technology. Whether it's tobacco, packaged foods, consumer health, beverages, or beauty and personal care, many market analysts recognize that cannabis is poised to disrupt those consumer markets. Da -da 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 -da. $150 billion <clears throat> with the legal market expected to grow 77% to total sales at $166 billion. Just bring me to the T. Here we go. When we ask consumers in legal states which edible marijuana cannabis formats they'd be interested in consuming, 34% said tea. She explains this is the fourth leading format of interest behind baked goods, chocolate candy, and non-chocolate candy. Beyond tea, 32% are interested in juice, 20 9% in carbonated soft drinks, 27% in coffee, and 21% in sparkling water. What does that mean, guys? It means I got to make a CBD tea company. Who wants to help? <laughs> CBD tea. That's pretty interesting. Thank you for that article. I'll read the whole thing later. I just don't want to bore you guys to sleep. I appreciate that, Sam. The audio. So, guys, it's almost 11 o'clock. CBD, CBT, CBT. But, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go now because I want to work on this video, the James E. Wagner video, and I wanna take some medicine. That is a great idea. So, anyways guys, thank you for watching. We'll be back with another video later today recapping the markets and uh, see you.